The 49ers are two and two. So is the rest of the NFC West. Now, currently, the 49ers are in first place because of the divisional record. They're two and oh. They took uh, care of business versus the Seahawks. They took care of business versus the Rams on Monday Night Football. This is the area that the 49ers have been found wanting. These games that they should win against lesser opponents on the road. Chicago Bears, Denver Broncos. These are the types of games, not so much that define your season, but they're the type of games that get your win-loss record where it should be if you want to be a playoff team. And make no mistake, the 49ers not only want to be a playoff team, they are going to be a playoff team. So while this game, again, the spread, Vegas, I mean, they're almost a full touchdown favorite on the road, which is very rare. This game matters. And it matters to a lot of players on the 49ers organization because of some ties, some connections. We'll jump into that. Now, let's focus on the Panthers. They're struggling. Make no qualms about it. Front office, head coach, quarterback, offensive line. It is just bad, 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 bad. Um, they started 0-2. They lost to the Browns. Then they lost to the Giants. Um, you know, got their first win versus the Saints, which was a good win. A lot of injuries for the Saints. But it's just, it's different. They have not played anybody like the 49ers. The 49ers' defense is unreal. There's no doubt about it. Since week one, they have only given up 18 points and one touchdown in three games. Um, is the Carolina Panthers' offense going to be striking fear into this defense? I do not believe so. Yes, CMC is incredible. We'll talk more about that. But let's hope that just like last year in 2021, a blowout victory against the Rams on primetime football vaulted the 49ers last year. They went on and won three straight after that, won five of their next six, and that kind of changed the season. Remember, they were three and five before that win last year against the Rams. This year, they were one and two. So they didn't dig as deep a hole as they did in the previous year, and hopefully they can spring out of that. They're already in first place, and if we just look again, Comparing 2021 to 2022, the NFC record after week four in 2021 was 11 and five, the combined of the four teams in the division. This year, yeah, every team's two and two. It's pretty simple to figure out. They're eight and eight. So while you got two things working for you, number one, you're not in near as big a hole as you were last year at three and five, right? You're not there. Two, your competition is not near as good. 11 and 5 last year record, 8 and 8 this rec this year. We were in third place, now we're in first. You see the difference there. Um and so again, that Monday night game was huge. Can they use this as a launching point to prove to themselves? I think the defense is proven to the world. They're for real. They're the best in the NFL. There's no doubt about it. Can the offense just be average? That's all you're asking for. You're not asking for anything special. You're not asking for top 10. Can they just be average? Which is insane to say when you have guys like Debo, Ayuk, Kittle. I mean, there's so much talent over there. Can they just be average? Not asking for much from number 10. Um, very similar game to last week. You're going to win a lot of games. Just don't turn the ball over. Now. The Panthers, as we said, they are 1-3 and three on the year. They lost to the Browns by two, close game. They lost by the Giants by three, close games. Beat the Saints by eight, and then lost to the Cardinals, who are struggling, by ten. Uh, we, we bet that game pretty big. We got paid out pretty big on that one, too. Um, but if you look at what they've been able to accomplish, it's not much. They're tied for 20th um, out of 32 teams for points uh, allowed. They're giving up 21.3 points per game against some very, very, very bad offenses. Giants, bad offense. Browns, bad offense. Cardinals, bad offense. Um, Saints, bad offense. They played the Saints when they were injured. That's where all the injuries started happening. And 17th in points scored. They're only scoring 19.5 points per game. No way in the world they're going to put up 19 unless they get some pick sixes or special teams touchdowns. I think it's the only way they can get there. Now, if we look at it just from a snap-by-snap snap kind of analytic cool perspective from pro football focus these are their ranks panthers offense 24th out of 32 um overall i'm uh, sorry overall is 24th out of 32 offense 30th uh, they're a bottom three offense defense 16th pretty good defense they got some pretty damn good players over there brian burns 
might be a top 10 pass rusher. Not might be. He's a top 10 pass rusher in the NFL. Uh, might even be higher top six. He's been playing that well. Um, special team six. So it, it's not like they're just bad across the board. And to put this into perspective, the 49ers overall tied third. Offense tied 28th. So even as bad as the 49ers offense has been, which has been trash, they're better than the Panthers offense, still even at that point. Defense first, special teams 20th. Uh, those Ray Ray McLeod back-to-back fumbles, the block uh, field goal for return for a uh, touchdown. Even though the special teams has been so much better, it's crazy to say that 20th overall is an improvement, but it's a stark improvement. It's a big improvement over Richard Hightower in the previous five years in the Shanahan regime. So 20th, it sounds bad because it's below average. Oh, boy. Um, if you would have told me we'd have the 20th special teams unit um, four weeks in, I would have I'd signed me up, baby. <laughs> I'm totally down. Now, head coach Matt Rule for the Carolina Panthers is interesting. To say he's on the hot seat is that's an understatement. He probably going to be the first coach fired. And, you know, he came over from Baylor. He's a good college coach that builds a good, you know, whatever – culture that's what they always say right he's 11 and 26 in his third season has completely mismanaged this roster um it's been very very bad the getting teddy bridgewater who's the best quarterback they've had during this time and then taking they they sold them for pennies on the dollar and took all of the salary cap hit to get worse at quarterback with sam darnold then they did the same thing this year with baker mayfield uh to think that they could have had jimmy garoppolo Oh, they, yeah, they totally screwed the pooch on this one. And when they fired Joe Brady, their offensive coordinator, a year ago, it just set the clock ticking. Um, this is going to be Matt Rule's last year. I did put some money down in the offseason on him being the first coach fired. It's I'm telling you, man, uh, the, the, the crows, the vultures, they are circling and it is only a matter of time. The 49ers Rush Podcast.